Hello there, and thank you for joining me today with a Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to be talking about our web phone and our web application. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to our website app.mangovoice.com and log in with your credentials. You will need credentials for our web application in order to use our web phone. Once you're logged in, you'll be logged into this page that you should see on your screen right now. Uh, we always open up to recent calls when logging in for the first time. You click on web phone on the left hand side of your screen at the bottom of those tabs. Once you're here, you'll see our web phone with its dial pad, the enter number up top, and we have some parking lots on the left. So to use the dial pad, it's just like any other phone. You just click on the buttons here to dial whatever number you'd like to do. You can also use your number pad on your phone for these calls, so you can type it in with that if you'd rather use your keyboard. Then you just click on this blue button here or hit the enter button to initiate that call. Once that call begins, you'll have a variety of options in the bottom of your screen. The one on the far left is your mute button. That'll stop the person on the other end from hearing what you're saying. Hold will place that call on hold on your side. You can have up to two calls on hold at a time with our web phone, and it places those calls on the left hand side so you can see both of them and unmute and mute them as you see fit for both of those calls. You can click on the pause button here or here to unmute that call. You also have the keypad. This will allow you to put in options such as one, two, or any extension you're trying to reach specifically um, if you have those options. The audio settings will allow you to establish which microphone and speaker that you're using if multiple are added to your computer. And then we have the park button. Now you can select the parking lot here. You can park the call. And you'll notice that it also places it in park over here. Now you do have the option to park the call from this menu as well. If you click on that blue P, it'll park the call. And it also goes red, so you know that that parking lot is in use. So if this call is for someone else in the office, you can tell them, hey, there's a call for you on parking one. They can go to their web phone, click on that button, and take that call. And then of course, you can transfer calls by using this button here. You can transfer calls to any extension in the office. Uh, you just click on the transfer call, and it'll send that call to that person. And then of course, you have the end call option. Once you click that, it hangs up that phone call. Now, our parking lots here, um, you might be familiar with on your physical phones, you, ha you can have more than just the two parking lots. And we can do that on the web phone as well. If you click on the settings button and come to phone for your phone settings, you can add parking lots right here. You just click on the plus button followed by add parking spot and it'll allow you to select the next parking lot in order. Now you can click this drop down and pick any option you want. It does not have to be in order. You can pick whatever parking spots you want. We're just gonna go in order though, and you can relabel them if you want. Uh, by default, it will just choose the next parking spot. Now you can only have five set up at a time per web phone, but if we go back to our web phone, you can see that all five of those parking spots are available and easy to see right there on our left hand side of the screen. Now what's even cooler is on your physical phone, you might be aware of this, we have our presence buttons, which shows your other extensions in the office, if they're on the phone, if they're ringing or anything like that. Um, we can do that as well. If you come to our settings, and then you'll come to your phone settings again, and we'll have the ability to add those extensions right here. Now we do have a limit of 10 at a time for the time being. But if you click on this plus button, you can select any of the extensions that you have set up in your office. So we're gonna go ahead and pick George. And we'll pick Sousa. We'll pick Tyler. And then we're also gonna pick the extension we're using so I can show you how that changes when that phone is being used. So we're gonna pick Mango Tutorials. And if we come back to our web phone, we can see that those options are now available. You can click on this to start calling that individual person. Now I'm gonna show you how this is going to change to red when this web phone is currently on a call. So when an incoming call comes in, you can click accept or reject. Reject will just reject the call and it'll give you a little pop-up. So we're just gonna accept the call. And you can see that this is red right here, indicating that we are on the phone. Everyone else in the office, if they have this presence button set up, will see that you are in fact on the phone. We're gonna go ahead and end that call. As you can see, you still have all of your options, even for inbound calls. And then the last thing I kinda of wanna show you is this option right here. Now it says receiving calls. If we click that, we can turn it on to do not disturb so that this extension won't receive any calls on the web phone. 
you can click it again to remove that. And you have this drop down menu, so you can do a temporary do not disturb. You can put it on hold and until tomorrow, or two hours, one hour, or 30 minutes. Great for those times you just need to take a quick lunch or you have a meeting you need to jump into and you don't want your phone to ring. Uh, really great feature there. Uh, we really like that one. And that's everything I have to show you today on the web phone. Of course, if you have any questions or would like further training on this, you can give our support team a call at 435-466-2646, option number one, um, or you can schedule one at training.mingovoice.com. Uh, thank you for joining me today with this Mango Voice tutorial.